how to report a shoulder x-ray shoulder x-ray is normally done in AP view and in addition sometimes a oblique view can be taken or if someone is trying to see a scapula fracture then a Y view can also be taken so looking at the AP view main things we have to notice is the clavicle the continuity of cortex we have to see acromion we have to check acromion clavicular joint this joint distance should always be less than 8 millimeter anything more than that can point towards AC joint dislocation and other than that lower cortex of acromion should be in alignment with lower cortex of clavicle if they are not aligned it means there is AC joint dislocation then we have to see coracoclavicular distance so it's over here and this is 11 millimeter in this case and it should be less than 13 millimeter anything more than 30 millimeter is suspicious of coracoclavicular ligament disruption looking at this after that we have to see proximal humerus humeral head and then go around properly and look at the glenoid properly and look at the scapula don't forget to see the scapula this is very easily missed and after checking all these bones next thing will be to check the position of head of humerus if it is lying under the coracoid it means it is anteriorly dislocated if humeral head is in a shape of bulb electric bulb then it is indicative of posterior dislocation if this head is lying under the glenoid over here it is indicative of inferior dislocation which is very rare and is present only in 0.5% of total shoulder dislocations after seeing dislocations if there is anterior dislocation don't forget to see glenoid rim for bankart fracture which is mainly at the lower margin and also for the hill sec bony injury which is mainly at the posterior lateral aspect of humeral head after seeing the shoulder look at the soft tissues around look at the clavicle for any fracture and then go medially and make sure the lungs are clear there is no big mass or anything sitting here look for rib fractures and look for any pneumoperitoneum which is very easily missed and very commonly associated with any shoulder or rib injuries after looking at AP view, look the oblique view. In oblique view, you can see the acromion coming here. You can see the coracoid process here, and you can see the glenoid here. So the humeral head is looks like someone is holding it between thumb and finger. So if and it should align with the glenoid. If you make a triangle and glenoid like this Sorry. and if you draw a line from the apex of this triangle then it should cross the humeral head if it is not crossing the humeral head it means there is dislocation of humerus if humeral head is dislocated towards the coracoid it means it is anteriorly dislocated if it is dislocated towards the acromion it means it is posteriorly dislocated look for any fractures look for vertical continuity and no break in cortex and this is how we report a 
shoulder x-ray to look again look for cortex for no break or fracture look for clavicle look for ribs look for pneumothorax and then look for joint alignment especially glenohumeral joint ac joint and coracoclavicular ligament distance